There's only one way to describe Jurgen Klopp this season, ruthless. Come on, let's be honest. After that smooth 5-1 victory away at Sparta Prague, who among us thought Klopp would field a weaker team for the second leg? Maybe give the younger players some time on the pitch and save the key players for that big FA Cup match against Manchester United. Probably the majority of us, right? But Jurgen Klopp surprised us all by putting out a starting eleven that could hold its own in the Premier League. This is a show of ruthlessness which was caught by the Reds, who banged in four goals in the first 14 minutes. If that's not making a statement and getting the job effectively done, we don't know what is. So how did this crushing victory come about? Well, smash that like button and subscribe button and let's dive right in. Following a remarkable and intense match against Manchester City over the weekend, and with a commanding 5-1 lead from the away leg, you might have expected to see players like Dans, Kumas and McConnell getting a start. Yet Klopp isn't one to gamble with outcomes, and despite resting stars like Luis Diaz, Virgil van Dijk and Alexis McAllister, he fielded a lineup strong enough to compete at the top of the Premier League. Of course, Kelleher was the man between the sticks, with Allison out injured, and hey, we've just released a thorough analyst of Kelleher's performances and skills as a keeper, so don't forget to check that out. Joe Gomez made a comeback to his familiar centre-back role, his first showing in that position since last December, pairing up with Jarrell Quansar. Connor Bradley retained his spot at right-back, with Andy Robertson holding down the fort on the left. Surprisingly, Endo, who many thought would rest, started as the pivotal number six, flanked by Dominic Sabozlai and Bobby Clark as the advanced midfielders. The front three was the biggest shock, with Mo Salah and Darwin Nunes both starting alongside Cody Gagpo. This video is sponsored by Copite Clothing. Copite Clothing is a Liverpool clothing site owned by match-going fans. Each design is limited edition and is perfect to wear on a match day, on the terraces at Anfield, down your local, or cosy in the comfort of your own home. As stated, each design is limited edition, and if a product is showing out of stock, they will not be restocking the item, so if you have your eye on something, grab it fast. Lastly, Copy Clothing wants fellow Reds to be 100% satisfied with their orders, so if there is a reason you're not happy, they will refund you with no questions asked. Head over to copyclothing.com or down into the link in the description to get all of your Liverpool merchandise. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. The Reds didn't waste a second in taking control of the game. Salah and Sabozlai, with Conor Bradley's support, dominated the right flank, slicing through Sparta Prague's defence with ease. For the first goal, notice how Bobby Clark shifted from the left to find a space in the right half space, adding to the pressure and linking up well with the action. This move allowed Mo Salah to make his way into the penalty area, pulling one of Sparta Prague's defenders with him and creating an opening on the right flank for Sabozlai, but that's just the beginning. Salah didn't just attract one defender, he drew the attention of a second, paving the way for Darwin Nunes. Nunes needed only to take a couple of setbacks to find himself in the perfect spot to meet Sabozlai's cross and net the opening goal. It goes to show with a player like Mohamed Salah, his mere presence on the field can cause chaos among defenders, which is precisely what led to the first goal. Before we could even finish replaying the first goal, the second was already on the scoreboard. It appears Sparta Prague hadn't taken the lesson from the first leg's defeat, which is, unless you're Manchester City or Arsenal, avoid trying to play it out from the back at all costs. And let's remember, even City struggled with this approach. Right from the kickoff, Liverpool applied their usual intense pressure with their five man front, showcasing their relentless pursuit to put the game to bed as early as possible. Facing such intense pressure and reeling from a goal just moments before, a Sparta Prague defender made a crucial error trying to play a build up pass even as Salah was closing him down. The Egyptian king got a touch on the ball, setting up Bobby Clark for a one on one with the goalkeeper. The 19-year-old seized the golden opportunity, scoring his first senior goal for the club. Now you'd think after conceding two goals from build-up mistakes over both legs, Sparta Prague would avoid trying to play out from under the Reds' press. Think again. Just two minutes later, Bobby Clark pounced again, intercepting the ball, which then found its way to Salah. And as usual, Mo didn't squander the chance to become the first Liverpool player to hit 20-plus goals in seven consecutive seasons, adding a new record to his book. Four minutes on and Cody Gakpo joined the scoring spree, with Salah providing the assist. Four goals in the first 14 minutes. Has this ever happened before in the Europa League? Drop a comment if you know of any club that's matched this feat in the competition's history. Sparta Prague did manage to score a consolation goal later in the first half, 
However, with Salah assisting Dominic Sobozlai for the fifth goal and Gakpo cleverly clicking Elliot's shot for the sixth, the match was done and dusted. For those of you who love diving into the numbers, we're going to use stats to prove how Liverpool's performance was both systematic and effective. The Reds outperformed their expected goals, XG, of 3.69 by a significant margin and limited their expected goals against to just 0.28. The expected threat of 2.42 and a field tilt of 82.7% further illustrated Liverpool's dominance throughout the match, something we all anticipated considering the strength of the lineup they deployed. Now, if you thought that with the upcoming FA Cup match against Manchester United in just two days that the Reds would ease up a bit, you need to think twice. With a defensive action height of 50.5 metres and a pressing intensity of 7.4, Liverpool's players kept up their high defensive line and relentless pressing standards high. This strategy led to nine high turnovers, five of which resulted in shots on goal. There was even a moment when the Reds were attacking with 10 players. Yes, and here's the proof if you didn't see it with your own eyes. Turning our attention to individual performances, it's clear Mo Salah stole the show with one goal, three assists, and a flawless 10 out of 10 rating on sofa score. Rightfully earning the Man of the Match award, what a time to hit peak form, especially after returning from an injury and just before a crucial clash against Manchester United. Yet there are a couple of other players who really stood up in yesterday's game that deserve a special mention. First up is Jarrell Consar. Playing as a centre-back, especially in a high defensive line, comes with its own sets of pressures. However, the 21-year-old was unshakable, displaying no signs of weakness. Following an impressive performance against Manchester City, Kwanzaa was solid once again, playing 66 minutes with a 90% passing accuracy and winning 100% of his aerial duels. His intelligence and calmness with the ball, along with an unyielding presence under pressure, can only be a sign of the emergence of a monstrous centre-back. The next player we need to talk about is Harvey Elliott. In recent weeks, the 20-year-old has really stepped up, especially given the injury woes Liverpool had faced. Against City, he has a pivotal threat in the first half, creating problems for Nathan Ake and John Stones alongside Connor Bradley. Last night, Elliot entered the game at half-time and despite playing 45 minutes less than his teammates, he ended up with a 0.15 expected threat, the sixth highest among Liverpool players. In just half a game, Elliot achieved a 92% passing accuracy, delivered four key passes and earned an assist. What's even more remarkable, he accomplished all of this while playing in a completely different position than usual. Given Harvey Elliott's season's heat map, it's clear he typically thrives as a right winger or midfielder, making the most of the wide areas and cutting inside to leverage his strong left foot for creative plays. However, his role in last night's game took a different turn. As you can see in his game's heat map, Elliott operated the left side this time, positioning himself deeper than his usual role. He also frequently dropped back to the halfway line to advance the ball through the middle. Did he thrive doing this? Of course he did. Despite logging fewer minutes than his teammates, Elliott's effectiveness in ball progression was unparalleled. He ended the game as the player who advanced the ball the furthest through his carrying. Harvey Elliott truly deserves every bit of praise for his recent performances, stepping up when Liverpool needed him the most. But if you're still convinced of this talent, why not check out our special video dedicated to the 20-year-old? It might just sway your opinion on his abilities. The Reds have sailed into the Europa League quarterfinals, boasting an impressive 11-2 aggregate score. And if you need more stats, hear this out. Over the two legs, Liverpool chalked up an XG of 6.89 compared to Sparta Prague's 1.45. If that doesn't spell out a clear message to every contender vying for the title, we're not sure what will. And let's not overlook the warning sent to the Reds' arch-rivals, Manchester United, right before their crucial FA Cup clash on Sunday. So what's your take? Can Liverpool make a deep run into this year's Europa League and go all the way and win the trophy in Dublin? And whilst you're at it, let's hear your score predictions for the FA Cup clash against Manchester United. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed our analysis, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe button for more Liverpool deep dives. Also, don't forget to check out our channel sponsors, Copite Clothing, for the best and creative Liverpool t-shirts. The link is down in the description, or just go to copiteclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.